She's got a point. She's an icon. She's a legend. And she is the moment. Now, come on now. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm, I'm gonna have a seat right here. Oh, hi. Hi, best friends. It's me, Garde Galaxia. And you should probably know that because you're on my YouTube channel. What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, you might be thinking I look fantastic and you're right. Thank you, I do. <laughs> um, it is October 2nd and I just stopped streaming on Twitch. I was playing Pokemon Coliseum and I've had this idea for a while to, you know, talk about um, how Nintendo is adding N64 games to the Switch because that was um, a mind blowing experience for me seeing that in the direct. <gasps> N64, it's gotta be, yes! And they showed off some of the games that are going to come out, like, from launch, and then some more that are coming out down the line, like Banjo-Kazooie and my favorite game, Majora's Mask. But you probably know that because you've definitely seen my 30 Let's Plays, like, separate Let's Plays, not one continuous ones, because I just couldn't commit to doing it right the first time. And then years later, I did it right the second time. The end. Somebody clipped that. Anyway, I hate YouTubers who take too fucking long to get to the Aww. point. You know who you are, and if you're not one, you know the ones. So let's just get started, okay? Let's see my list. Number 10. Mr. Hands. I mean, hand, I mean, horse cum. I mean, buckets of horse cum. I mean, I mean, shit, fuck, horse, I, m Glover. I mean, Glover. Number 10 is Glover. Glover? Um, Mr. Glover? Mr. Glove? Mr. Hamburger Helper? Like, icon of, like, 1999? I don't know what year this game came out, but... Uh, I've also never played this game, but I always wanted to like uh, whenever we went to Blockbuster when I was a kid And like my mom would let me rent games. I always wanted Glover, but she was like no You can't get that one and I don't know why like honestly like to this day I don't know what she had against Glover probably because like it reminded her of Michael Jackson, you know like the hee hee chamona. But um like the one glove, you know how we did it, but um, he's dead now So maybe I can actually play Glover. Um, I don't know anything about the game I just know you play as a hand uh, sorry a glove and you like catch this ball and like roll around and stuff and I, I don't know what the point of the game is like go ask go ask someone who's played the game I've never fucking played it um I'm also putting it on my list because Katie and BG like Bubblegum Walrus they both said that I should you know that it should be there so this is for them and I guess for me if it's a good game but um they never made a club or two so I mean how good could it really be sorry number nine Resident Evil 2 okay honestly Resident Evil 2 is like until 4 came out like it was like the best Resident Evil game Well, I can't even say that because the first was really good too Like the first is my favorite But like 2 when you play 2 there's just something so like so nostalgic and like captivating about it And it's like scary as shit too You ever play fucking Resident Evil when it's like it's like the first day of spring and you're like Oh, it's gonna be nice outside But it's like you play this game. It's p pitch black. You still get that frost you turn the lights off because you know, you're scared of everything and you're, you know, you like to fight fire with fire and really like fuck yourself over. So, you know, that was me in like 2000, uh, 2010 probably when I played it for the first time. And uh, Resident Evil 2 is just such a good fucking game. And honestly, like, I didn't Google it enough, but I'm pretty sure it's on, it's on the N64. And if it's not on the N64, then um, just like cross it off this list, but I'm still gonna like throw it in the video and I'm not gonna Google it before. But like you play as Leon or you play as Claire. I like to play as Claire obviously because like she's a girl boss. Like, <laughs> come on, let's be real. What does Leon have? Uh, besides a massive throbbing cock. And um, um, I don't know, like it's just such a good game and you should play it. And like you can play the remake too. Like the remake is probably like what, more people have prob probably played the remake than the original at this point. Um, so if they put the original on it, like, that's going to be great. And I'm pretty sure it's the only Resident Evil game on the 64. It's probably the first Resident Evil game on a Nintendo console. Yeah, I think so. I'm realizing that now for the first time. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, you could tell me in the comments, but I'll probably just block you because I don't like to be wrong. But yeah, thank you. Anyway. Number eight. Dobutsu no Mori, also known as Animal Forest. Okay, so hear me out. Animal Forest. Like, Animal Crossing, the Japanese version that we got on the GameCube, but, like, in Japan, it came out on the N64 first, and it's, like, it's the same fucking game, right? Because, like, let's be real, like, New Horizons isn't giving me nothing. It's not giving you nothing. Yeah, okay, there's a Direct coming in October, but, like, I need more than just fucking, like, 
Brewster's pigeon milk from his pigeon titty. Like, I need more than that. And I don't, like, what are they gonna show that's so good? Nothing. What, what do I need? I need to go back to the first fucking game and relive my childhood because that's the only way that any of us could get any, like, any sliver of happiness anymore is by reliving our nostalgia. And then when we do it, it's like, wow, that was not as good as I remembered it. And then we just go into another depression. So, yeah. Animal Forest. And also, like, please translate it, because I don't want to learn Japanese. Like, I want to, but, like, I'm scared of the Duolingo owl, and I'm not reopening the app, because, like, uh, I'm just, like, I feel like the owl sometimes is kind of passive-aggressive to me, and if it's not in the notifications, then it's, like, it's just really blunt, and, like, I I don't, I'm kind of scared of seeing the owl, like, throughout my day, because I could be having a good day, and then the owl is, like, you know what your punishment is, and, like, I know what the punishment is. Like, I know what the punishment is, and I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm scared, so please translate Animal Forest and put it on the N64 online, okay? Thank you. Number seven. Banjo t t t t You can't put Banjo Kazooie and then not put Banjo fucking Tui. Like, right off the bat, spoiler alert, spoiler warning for anyone who hasn't played this game from, uh, what, 20 years ago it came out? I don't know. Um, it starts off and it's like, oh, Gruntilda's back from the dead. That's great. And it's like you start in the same place and you have all your same moves, but then there's like a hole in the wall, right? And then you go through the hole and it takes you to like a whole nother land, Isle of Hags. What a fucking name, Isle of Hags, crazy. And like, the it's like the adventure, like, like it just starts again. The same amazing adventure, it starts again. Granted, Banjo-Tooie is like, it's a, it's much harder than the first game, right? It's so much harder. I've still never 100%ed it because like, I'm just gonna skip Grunty's Industries every time I play it. Um, and if I ever end up playing that game and I don't skip it, just know that I must have overcome some big challenge of, in my life, whether it be like overcoming anxiety or like fear or whatever, for me to actually do that level. Because that level is, it's rage inducing, it is confusing, and no, I'm not going to read a guide. Um, anyway, Banjo Tooie is just like such an amazing game, and I'm still in shock that Banjo Kazooie is like coming out on the N64 online. I'm going to call off that even though it's not called that, and like there's nothing you could do to change my mind, you know? But I also think like, because, like, they're going to charge extra to play the N64 games and the Sega Genesis games, but we don't have to talk about that. Like, does Microsoft get a cut? Like, how does that work? Like, I'm just confused. And then does Sega get, like, another... Do they get, like, the 50% of the extra, like, that you pay? Like, if it's another $10 a year, is it, like, Sega takes five of that 10 Like, I don't understand. Like, how does it work? I don't know. Um, if anyone knows Sonic and you can talk to him, can you ask him that question for me? Thank you. But yeah, Banjo-Tooie, it's like such a great game. Like, Kazooie gets all these eggs. Like, Humba Wumba is there. Like, the Globo is there. Like, the Ice Key is there. Like, they're gonna do it and they're not gonna do it with Stop and Swap. Like, it's just a matter of time until they add this game. But like, it's gonna be wonderful. Like, it's gonna be wonderful. And like, there's nothing you could do to stop me. Like, I'm gonna play it again. Sorry, period. Number six, Pokemon Stadium 1 and Pokemon Stadium 2. All right, so um, we're already thinking it. Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. No, I'm not going to make this two separate games. No, I'm not answering questions at this time. Sorry. Uh, these games are amazing. Um, they're, they're kind of not though at the same time, you know, like you just play the game with the rental Pokemon and like they have like the worst moves ever. And if they do put it on the N64 online, there's no way to like transfer your Pokemon or make your own teams or anything. So it's like, it's going to be like when, if you played an emulator, not like I do that. Like who does that? But, um, like it would still be nice, you know, like it would su super be nice. And if they add some kind of like compatibility, even if they add like the Game Boy Color online and you can play red, blue, and yellow, gold, silver, crystal and connect those. That's asking for too much, because honestly, like, the Pokemon Company hates us. Yes, I played Sword. Yes, I played Shield. Yes, I played them and understand that Game Freak fucking hates us. They hate me. They hate you. They hate your mom. They hate your sister. They hate the president. They hate the, they hate the old president, too, but, like, we all fucking did, right? We all fucking did. So, in conclusion, that's why you should add Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, because also, like, the animations in that game blow sword and shield out of the water and they're probably gonna blow legend of legends rcs out of the water too maybe not i'm still hopeful like yeah i i i kind of will take what i'll get from pokemon these days like i i the bar is set really low since gen 6 but like that's why i want to play these old games because like you're not doing it for me anymore sorry number five we are halfway there the next game on our list is chameleon twist look at the lizards go nice iguanas okay 
Um, this is, sorry, I have so much hair in my mouth and like, I know I keep touching my mouth and like, I don't know, that's, that's neither here nor there. Um, okay, so you probably never heard this game or you've rented it from Blockbuster. There are no other options. You did not get this game for Christmas. You did not get this game for your birthday. You did not get it for Hanukkah. Do not fucking sit there and act like you got this game for Hanukkah because I know you didn't. So, Chameleon Twist. It's a, a game where, I think it's four players. I'm probably wrong though. There's Chameleon Twist too, so put that there too. I'm gonna edit edit that cartridge onto the little like, you know, intro of this part. Um, there's like these four different chameleons. I don't know what their names are, but if I remember, like there's the three guy chameleons that have like rhyming names, like, like I don't know, like Randy, Sandy, and Candy. And then there's like Linda. Like Linda the chameleon, are you fucking kidding me? Like she should be in Smash. Fuck Sora. I don't know if it's Sora, but it's it's October 2nd. And in three days, I'm gonna figure, I'm gonna find out that it's Sora. And if it's not Sora, it better be Chun-Li or Pauline because like, I'm not gonna play as Master Chief. Sorry, that's just me. I'm not a heterosexual. I'm not gonna play as Master Chief. I'm not playing Halo, sorry. Um, like I was saying, um, uh, Chameleon Twist, it's like, it's like a 3D platformer, I think, but it's like pretty linear. It kind of makes me think of like Super Mario 3D World, but like, uh, 15 years earlier or something like that. But Chameleon Twist is such a good game. Um, I, I, I don't remember it enough to like want to describe the gameplay, but you use your tongue, obviously, because like they're chameleons. So just like watch this clip and you'll, you know, you'll figure it out. Number four, Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. The next one, um, Goemon, like Mystical Ninja Goemon, like one and two. I think the first one was like, the first one was like a 3D platformer and the second one was a 2D platformer. Um, I'm putting this game here because my boyfriend loves them and if they add it, then they'll make him happy and that's great. Um, and then, like, I'll play them if they're on the Switch, because, like, setting up the N64 on my TV just to play a game I know nothing about, like, I don't have the time for that anymore. Like, I don't have the time for that anymore. And I also don't know why I pointed, because, like, you can't see anything, and also my hand's getting cropped. So, that's that. Um, I'm just now gonna sit with good posture, so you can ignore the first half of this video, even though you had to watch all of it to get here. Um... Yeah, I mean, Goemon, like, they made a me costume for him in Smash, and, like, I have some Goemon merch around my house, so, like, it'll make sense. It'll make sense for me if I play the game. I'll be like, oh, that's that person. Oh, that's that person. I don't know what your reasons are why you would want this game. You can, like, tell me in the comments, because that's something YouTubers say when they're desperate for attention. So go ahead and leave me some notes in the comments, because I don't know shit about this game. I tried playing it once, and I was like, wow, this is an old game. I'm, like, I can't do this anymore. So I didn't do it. Period. Next. Number three, Donkey Kong 64. Fucking let's let's all go fucking bananas for Donkey Kong 64 on the Nintendo Switch 64 expansion pass. Speaking of expansion pass, they're going to call it NSO Online Plus Expansion Pass. Guess which fucking game on the N64 came with an expansion pass? Donkey Kong 64. That's right, motherfuckers. So they need to put Donkey Kong 64 on the Switch because of that alone, period. Next. Just kidding. Not kidding, but I'm not done. Anyway, it's on the Wii U. It's on the Wii U. That was, when that came on the Wii U, that was shocking. That was, that was crazy. Crazy. And if you weren't there, you didn't care. But you're here now and you should care, right? That's right. Donkey Kong 64, like, people would kind of shit on it, but, like, th that game is amazing. Like, you could say Super Mario 64 is, like, the penultimate, like, 3D platforming game, but have you tried using the cameras in Mario 64? They suck ass. And I think people say that the cameras in 64, uh, Donkey Kong 64 suck, but um, I don't remember having such a jarring, like, experience with the cameras in that game, like, Mario 64. But... Regardless, um, Donkey Kong 64 is such an amazing game. Like, you play as Donkey Kong, and then you have to unlock Diddy Kong, Lanky Kong, Tiny Kong, Chunky Kong. I mean, yeah, they got rid of Dixie Kong and Kitty Kong for Chunky Kong and Tiny Kong. But, I mean, sorry, Dixie Kong. But, like, let's be real. Like, this game is amazing. Like, the bosses are so cool. Like, the atmosphere is so cool. The music is great. And again, like I said, it's rare. Rare is, like, fucking amazing. Hello. Um, so yeah, this has been a TED Talk for why they should add Donkey Kong 64 to the NSO online. Thank you. Number two, almost done now, Super Smash Brothers. It's almost weird that they didn't include Smash Bros, but then like, it makes sense because of the online stuff, and it makes sense because like, Nintendo when it comes to Smash, like, 
characters. Give them credit for everything that they did for Ultimate, but when it comes to online, they do not want us to be happy. If we never see Smash Bros. on the NSO online, I will not be surprised. They still haven't given us Super Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo. And of course, they haven't given us Earthbound, but like, that ship has sailed. I'm moving on. Like, y goodbye. Um. Oh boy. But Smash Bros on, like, it should just be there because it's such a classic, but the fact that they could add online to it makes it so much better. This would be the first, like, legitimate time you could play this game online. Like, yeah, they have the net play and stuff, and people, like, you know, not, like, the official net play, like, the, you know, the fans is added or whatever, and it was pretty good for what it was, but this would be, like, this would be fucking top-notch. Like, you could just, anyone who has a Switch, they don't have to mod the game, they don't have to do all the shit to it. Just boot up the game, pay your $30 a year or whatever it is, pay your $50 for that controller, Spend your $80 just to play this old ass game with me. It's so simple. It's so simple. Come to my Twitch channel and play with me. I want to play this. I want to play Mario Kart 64. I want Diddy Kong Racing to come and be online. I'm going to play all these fucking games and I'm going to play them with you. So hello, let's go. The first time I ever played this game, well, not the first time, but when I played it when I was little, I didn't know who the like unlockable characters were. So when, imagine my fucking like six year old gay twink ass playing this game and Jigglypuff, I see Jigglypuff on my screen as a fucking unlockable character, paused my game, screamed, went upstairs to my mom, told her all about it. She didn't care. She smacked me telling me to shut up. I went back downstairs and played the game, got Jigglypuff. I was so happy. Yes, my face was red, but it doesn't matter because I got Jigglypuff. I got Jigglypuff and it was amazing. Period. I didn't know who Captain Falcon was, and I thought Ness was like a Lego character, but like, sue me. Um, and like, I don't know what was up with Luigi, but he has way too much blush on his face in that game. But like, um, Stan Luigi, that game's amazing. Uh, it's not though. <laughs> like, it's dated as fuck, but like, just add it. Like, what are you scared of, Nintendo? God, they think that like, they're gonna give me too much power, and they're probably right. Also, honorary mention to 007. I don't think I, I said that, so. Hi, 007 is a great game, GoldenEye. Like, hello. And number one, the moment you have all not been waiting for after much deliberation between me and myself. The number one spot can only go to Diddy Kong Racing. Diddy Kong Racing, like, um, I don't think you need to, you want to hear this from me, but it's what you need to hear. And I kind of like have a little guilt saying this, but like I need to be, I need, like these are the facts. In factuality, Diddy Kong Racing is a better racer than Mario Kart 64. Like the gameplay in Mario Kart 64, like it's simple but effective. And it's Mario, like that's it. That's all you need, right? Like what more do I need? Well, play to Diddy Kong Racing and that's the more that you need. Airplanes, cars, uh, the hovercraft things, planes, trains, automobiles, it's the same fucking thing. Steve Martin should be a playable character. I never saw the movie, I think he's in it, but he's very old now, so he probably wouldn't remember the game. But, the fucking, like, the balloons, you could power up your weapons, uh, the roster is, like, completely, like, unique characters, except for fucking Banjo and Conker, like, hello, like, that's crazy. Um, and, like, the maps are beautiful, there's, like, the first world, it's like dinosaurs. The music is great. Have you heard Hot Top Volcano? Here, let me in the future me go download it and play it right now. Listen to it. Like, this is such a good fucking song. Are you kidding me? Like, yeah, Mario Kart 64 has good, good music, but like, we're not talking about Mario Kart 64. They're already in. Like, I could trash talk it and that's not going to change anything. It's still going to be there. Diddy Kong Racing and the story mode is like, the story mode in Diddy Kong Racing, like, for a racing game of its time, like, nothing was better than that. Like, uh, the hub world in a racing game, we still don't have that in Mario Kart. And, like, it's such a good feature. Like, they didn't have to add it, but I'm glad that they did. And it was it's just so fun. It's so fun. If you've never played it, you're really missing out. Every rare game on the N64 is a fucking slap. And if you haven't played Diddy Kong Racing, and if they add it, you better fucking play it. You can even play the DS version for all I care. I mean, yeah, like, Conker and Banjo aren't there, but you play Dixie Kong and, like, like, Dixie Kong, another girl boss. Hello, like, up. Uh, hello, Dixie Kong, like, and she's in Mario Kart Tour, but they didn't even have Diddy Kong in fucking Mario Kart 8. Like, what was up with that? How come no one complained? Like, you might have complained, but did you start, like, a movement? No. This is the movement. This is the movement. Get Diddy Kong Racing on the Switch. Hello. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. All right. So I'm pretty sure that was um, 10 different video games that I added. Um, hopefully some of these games got added, like, since making this video, if you're watching it in the future, probably not, because, like, like I said 20 times, Nintendo hates us, except I'm just kidding, because they gave us this. Um, I'm very excited about the controller. I think it has a very strong lineup of games that are coming out, and then 
I'm glad that they showed the ones that are to come. I don't know, like, how long it's going to take them. Like, how long does it really take them to put these fucking games out? Like, let's be real. Like, you can just, like, like I said with Super Mario RPG and Earthbound, like, they're just fucking ROMs. Like, they're doing it on purpose. So the fact that they aren't going to add certain games, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but maybe they have bigger plans for it, right? Kind of, that kind of makes me think back to when Super Mario 3D All-Stars came out and, like, they were like, oh, and these games, like, are not going to be sold after March 30th of 2020. And I was like, or 2021. It's like, what the fuck was the point of that? But it's kind of like, they probably don't want you to be able to buy Mario 64 because they're going to add it to the Switch online. And then, like, a year later, here we are. That's exactly what they did, right? So maybe, like, for Earthbound and, like, Super Mario RPG, they have plans for it, but like at the same time, who knows? Nintendo has proven to be unpredictable. Um, anyway, I, I wanted this to be kind of short and sweet, and I hope you liked my dumb comedy. I want to make more videos in the future. Um, it feels kind of weird making another one, but uh, it feels great at the same time because you know, I made videos a lot back in the day and I want to get back into it, but until I really like go full throttle with the whole YouTube thing. Please check me out on Twitch. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram, but you can always support me on Twitch for free with a follow. And if you have Amazon Prime, you can also sub for free and I'll make $5 a month off you. That's great. Well, I'll get like two and a half dollars because Twitch takes 50%, even though I'm working with like over 100%. Like, let's be real. Um, but that's Twitch for you. And that's what it's like being a content creator. So you may as well bump up my numbers and make me feel good about myself. That's not going to last long. Anyway. Thank you so much. Um, happy fucking Halloween. I hope I get this video done before Halloween, but if not, sue me. Just pretend that it'll come out in November the latest. Just pretend that it's always Halloween, unless you have your Christmas decorations up. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, comment, like, and subscribe, and follow me on my other platforms. Have a great night. Love you. Or don't. Maybe I don't love you. You might be homophobic. I don't know who's on the other side of that screen. <laughs> See you later.